All right, I don't know about you guys, but when I hear the words declutter and closet clean out, my brain is like, uh-uh, not today. And two local stylists tell me a lot of people actually feel the same way. So whether you just want to refresh for the warmer season or you need a complete overhaul, it doesn't have to be intimidating or expensive to give your closet a little pick-me-up. Take a look. From your linen closet to your drawers, everything. Cabinets, closets, you name it, we deal with it on a daily basis. Pamela Caruso and Jennifer Rossi are the co-owners of Bravado, a personal styling and concierge service. And when it comes to closet edits, they've got it down to a science. Why do closets get so cluttered in the first place? Emotional hoarding. Yes, I can help anybody in the world clean out their closet. But when it comes to the simplest item, I have emotional bonds associated with something as simple as a tank top or a t-shirt. Emotional hoarding, I did not know what that was called because I think <laughs> I suffer from that. Did you that up? Diagnose <laughs> I may have. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Pam. <laughs> After you emotionally detach from items you no longer need, next it's all about maximizing your space. The thinner the hanger, the better. You would be amazed by how much space you can actually save by just using small things like the proper hangers. So basically out with the wooden hangers and hello skinny velvet hangers. They also recommend building up and underneath, whether it's stacking clothes to the ceiling of your closet or putting them underneath your bed. And vacuum bags is now, they've been my obsession for years. I now just turned Pam onto them in the past year and a half. She's obsessed. Yeah, no. Think of like six drawers, like large drawers. You can literally put six drawers into, like, into two of the vacuum sealed bags and do it where it's crazy thin. And it's just nice to have that organization because I feel like when I'm organized personally, personally, um, it just makes me feel more confident and it just makes my day go by smoother. So basically, I've still got a lot more work to do in my closet, but hopefully these tips help you with yours. In the meantime, I'll keep you guys posted on my progress in our Philly Live Facebook group. Thanks, Pam and Jen. I got work to do. Jennifer and Pamela say no closet is off limits. They can tackle just about anything. So if you're interested in learning more about their styling and concierge service, Bravado, we've got details for you in the Philly Live section of NBC10.com or the NBC10 app.